All right, guys, so what's the difference between L-arginine and L-citrulline, and which is studied more and which should I go to, okay? Well, that really depends on your goal, right? So um, if it's just like working out and stuff like that, I think uh, L-citrulline or citrulline malate is a good choice. Now, the problem is with the citrulline malate and stuff like that that you buy in the store, it's usually a two-to-one ratio uh, from what I've learned. So if you got three grams of citrulline, okay, uh, you, you know, you usually want to get about six grams if you can. You know, that's the goal, right, of pure L-citrulline. So usually when they have that two-to-one ratio, you end up having to take it twice. So you have to take two, two scoops of it you know, for it to be effective. But citrulline malate can be expensive. All this is, is it's L-citrulline mixed with malic acid. So you take malic acid, uh, which comes from apples and, you know, kind of acidic fruits, and you mix it together. And what they found in the studies is that it's overall better for athletes, um, you know, longer endurance, um, you know, better workouts. And L-citrulline, what it does is it increases nitric oxide levels in the body. That's what L-citrulline does, right? So it says helps improve circulation and improve memory, et cetera. So L-citrulline is amino acid, and what it does is so when you're taking it, what it does is it inside your body, it tells your body, hey, we need to increase our nitric oxide levels, if that makes sense, right? So we need to increase them somehow. So the L-citrulline does that uh, indirectly versus something like L-arginine will do it more uh, directly. Okay. Now, why don't, um, things always work for some people and some others, right? Like, I mean, if you're a dude, why are you waking up? Uh, some, some dudes wake up in the morning, they don't have morning wood and stuff. And that's your nitric oxide mostly, right? Um, so what's going on there is that your body is not relaxing your blood vessels to the area, right? So, in order for all that to work, you have to kind of be in a, a relaxed state as well. So, the first thing, what I'd always recommend working out before kind of, I mean, it just depends on your goal. If you have trouble down there, your goal should first go kind of look at your, um, your thyroid and look at your adrenal glands. Get that stuff sorted out. Make sure your TSH is between like a 1 and a 2. Um, or maybe even below that. If it's higher than that, you probably got subclinical hypothyroidism, which means the thyroid is underactive at some point. Hypo means under, hyper means above. So you probably want to start there first, okay? And then you want to dive into your adrenals and, and things like that, right? But let's just say you want like, I don't know, a, a pump at the gym. Good pump at the gym, simple. Two scoops of L-citrulline, which will give you six grams, and one or two scoops of L-arginine, you'll definitely be pumped up. Why? Because you're combining, right? So you're indirectly raising your level. So you're telling your body, hey, I want you to uh, produce more L-arginine in the body, not just take it through the gut, because sometimes things don't get absorbed through the gut. So if you take L-citrulline, two scoops, and then one scoop of L-arginine, you're gonna indirectly and directly help your body to increase your nitric oxide levels. Now, um, this is even great for people, you know, older people or anyone who needs to just increase your blood circulation um, because there's inside your blood vessels, you have a lot of times people have plaque and stuff. So you're not getting that same pump or that's, you know, when maybe you were younger, you're like, man, I get this great pump all the time. And now all of a sudden you don't get that pump anymore. Could be because your stuff is clogged up a little bit. So if I were you, not a doctor, but I do something like horse chestnut, uh, which is really good for varicose veins and things like that, that will dissolve all that junk in there for you, uh, along with some cayenne pepper and garlic, like take that in the morning every day along with, uh, you know, then any time during the day, hit this combo up and you'll get that circulation going. You'll get that blood pressure brown, uh, down, et cetera. So the reason that people have blo high blood pressure a lot of times is because things are clogged up, right? So it's like you're trying to put, put water through a tube, but somebody's squeezing the tube. So what happens is it, there's more internal uh, and systolic pressure 
throughout the body, right? So, anyways, uh, how do how so? What are some really good things for the circulation? Like I said, cayenne pepper, garlic, l citrulline, l arginine, and then now some people have gene mutations. Now this is a whole nother bag of stuff, right? Um, <clears throat> so if you have any gene mutations, I would recommend taking it. Uh, through methylfolate, there's been a lot of studies done. If you look at PubMed, it's the only place I look. I don't look at like bro science. But if you look at PubMed, there's a lot of studies done on methylfolate, how it can uh, increase uh, the, I guess you could say, expansion of your, uh, your veins and really open everything up and get that flow going. And then also increase your uh, L-arginine levels and increase your nitric oxide levels, which also can help downstairs. So, if A, you want to pump, again, this is a great combo. Um, if you're not waking up with that morning wood, then you want to focus on fixing up that thyroid, the adrenals. Get your dopamine levels up. Dopamine levels are huge and responsible for all that. So um, things like L-Dopa, L-Tyrosine, things like that can really help all that uh, down there. So that in combo with these things, and you'll be well on your way. Um, and a lot of times you don't need TRT. A lot of people are like, oh, I need testosterone replacement therapy. I need all this. And the truth of the matter is you really just have to fix the subsystems and then everything else will kind of fix itself, right? So adrenals and thyroid, check those out, number one. If you have questions, let me know. I can kind of guide you in the right path. I'm not a doctor, but I work very closely with some people who even teach doctors what to do. So, um, if you want some help with stuff like that, more than happy to help you. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's how you can increase your uh, circulation, get a better pump, etc. promote more healing. Because the more blood you have in your body, the more healing you're going to do. And also, the more energy you're going to have. Like right now, I'm just, I took B vitamins, uh, my thyroid granular in the morning, and cayenne and some garlic. And you can see I'm plenty of energy, no energy drink or anything. Um, I do like them sometimes when I work out, but I don't want to become reliant on them or burn out my adrenals. And, uh, so I'm trying to do them like every, every other day, like two times a week, three times a week, something like that. So I don't burn out my adrenals, but hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message. Don't forget to like this video and share it. And if you want to follow me, either hit the subscribe button or follow me. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.